uh, Brookfield Brothers question. Why not uh, reverse split Ape into AMC at 10 to 1? I think what they want to do is allow people to buy at a really cheap price, have it convert to AMC stock at 4 to $6 or whatever, and then do the reverse split so that everyone gets something that's worth like 60 bucks. I think that's why. Uh, it's it's a pain in the ass. And the thing is that it was, what it does is it gives these short hedge funds who bought 300 million shares um, a lot of voting power that they didn't have before. So that's something I, I am worried about is that they're going to have these huge short hedge funds with significant voting power in the the uh, shareholders and then they can get their little short hedge fund buddies onto the board at at AMC and destroy it that seems to be a big worry of mine cuz these short hedge funds are awful and that's what they do that's how a short attack happens and they're going to have you know when the splits all done they'll have 30 to 40 million of the 150 million shares will be just short hedge funds holding those shares so that's the thing that kind of pisses me off is that Adam Aaron keeps selling directly to short hedge funds at a discount below market price rather than doing it the right way, which is selling slowly at market to retail investors. That's what GameStop did and allowed GameStop to pay off all their debt and to have a bunch of cash on hand to play with. You don't get cash on hand by selling your stock at a discount bulk rate to the assholes who are just trying to destroy you. That's not how you fix your company. That's not how you 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 do a good job uh, in the market. Because Adam Aaron's gonna say, "Oh, I, you know, we'll do this reverse split. Well, the share price will be fifty to sixty bucks, and then we can sell more shares, pay off our debt." Do you know what Adam Aaron's gonna do? I guarantee you at this point, because that's what he does every single time. The share price will get to forty to sixty bucks, right? He'll wait ten months. The share price will get knocked down to $20 and then we'll find some short hedge fund to sell, you know, a hundred million shares to at $15 at a discount. That's what he's going to do. That's what he's done every single time so far. He's not going to sell to other retail holders. He's going to find some stupid short hedge fund who will then have a controlling stake in the company and can destroy it whenever they want. That's that's it man i i the dude is doing has been doing it wrong the entire time you don't pay off your debt your five billion dollars in debt by selling 200 million shares at 66 cents that's not how you do it it's not hard to figure out man it isn't I mean, if you're buying Ape right now, your Ape will probably be worth three to five times what it is when it converts. And, you know, cool. You made it out. You got some money back on that. But long term, I just don't see. I don't see him doing what he's going to sell it to a short hedge fund. He always sells it to a short hedge fund. That's what he does. He's not going to do the right thing, which is selling at market to retail slowly. You just say, oh, we reserve the right to sell this many shares and we'll let you know when we're done. And then five months down the road, you go, hey, we're done. And the share price wasn't affected the entire time. But no, he'll make an announcement. Hey, I just sold 100 million shares to uh, Dick Punch Hedge Fund. Uh. <laughs> and, then, and the stock price will go, Pfft. and that'll be that. Danjo the banjo. Does it seem like AMC reverse split is a bad idea? I mean, won't the shorts just drive the price right back down? That's exactly what I think is going to happen. Is that is that they'll do this reverse split, price will get driven back down, and then Adam Aaron will do some sort of deal to, with a hedge fund for stock at a fraction of the price of what it's trading for, and it'll be like not enough to take care of his bonds. And it'll be like, well, we got something else now. We're still $4 billion in debt. And then the stock price can get hammered down to nothing. And they'll dilute the float all over again. The hedge funds will control everything. And then they'll put even worse people on the board. 
and just torpedo the company. <laughs>